Right, so somebody woke up a little bit earlier than usual this morning. Um, that's okay, because we get to spend a little bit of extra time together. Um, yeah, meet Olivia. Olivia was six months old two days ago. So uh, she actually sleeps really well. She only wakes up at around 6.30. This morning was a little bit earlier. I think she was just a little bit hungry. Um, anyway, so uh, mom's gone back to bed. We're in another bedroom, uh, just chilling. We get to play for about an hour and about an hour and a half before she goes back to sleep. And then I get cracking with my busy days. So I hope you guys enjoyed the journey today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, tag along, sort of see what goes on behind the scenes of somebody making YouTube videos um, full time now, I guess. So this is kind of what my average day looks like. You'd think, hey, that sounds like the best deal ever. It's a lot of work, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what just happens on like a typical Wednesday. See you after the intro. Say bye, Olivia. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> So, oh, 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 we try and do this about three times a week. Um, these guys need a lot of exercise, as you can imagine. I unfortunately can't run as much as I'd like to. I've had multiple knee surgeries, multiple ankle surgeries. So our run is more like a, it's like a shuffle to avoid any further injuries. So, uh, but it keeps us going and it's a nice little bit of bonding time for me and these guys. <laughs> anyway, we've got about four more kilometers to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, so, just like you, I don't wake up in the morning and think, man, I have to run today, I'm really pumped. In fact, it sucks. We've done four Ks of my little Ironman shuffle, as I like to call it, because it's like a little running style of not bending my knees. But trust me, every time I do one of these, I feel so much better. I'm more productive through the day. And I feel it's my responsibility as a 30 year old be in shape for my wife and be healthy for my baby. So, little known fact, when I was a young teenager, my parents used to call me Farki, which means little piggy. And they did that for about a year and a half. And then one day I said, watch me. And I started running in the morning and hitting the gym in the afternoon. And I turned my life around into what is now a healthy eating, exercising lifestyle i'm not perfect i skip lots of workouts but i try and do more than i skip anyway we have to head on back um sun's coming out now today is going to be about 100 degrees fahrenheit so 36 ish um but so far a great run and thanks for sticking with us by the way if you watch to the end i'm gonna give you guys a 10 percent voucher on any vortex stuff so make sure you don't want to miss that okay so that's a wrap um it was fun never really feel like going as I said but it always feels better after you're done um, I do skip a lot of workouts but lately I've been feeling like I did pick up some weight so we need to get back in shape and I do find that being fit does help when you're shooting especially if you're shooting like precision rifle style stuff and you're under stress and you need to control that rifle um, a little bit better during heavy breathing it does definitely translate to that anyway I'm gonna have some breakfast um, probably cool down a little bit and then I'll see you guys on the other side um, Lily says hi. Thanks for the run, guys. You guys did really well. Thank you very much. I'll clean my own ears later. Okay. No.
we are now ready to go and go for my haircut i cut my hair at least once every three weeks let's go yeah i try and get my haircut every three weeks i pay for the year in advance and then it just makes things easier i send her a whatsapp it's like how's it janine can you help me today yep sure and then i just get it done it just makes Taking, ticking those little boxes of your daily things to do much easier if you have a little bit of a routine going for things like that. I find you get a hell of a lot more done that way. We're almost late. We gotta go, we gotta go. Yes, the buck is dirty. We'll fix it later. Perfect, let's go. Right, so that was pretty quick, uh, 11 minutes flat, so in and out, it's super cool not having to pay and everything because then you can just, we just have like a little ledger thing, I sign it and then I can leave and get on to the next thing. So next we're heading to Builders Warehouse, the place known for their cuck service. Um, but unfortunately, they're the only sort of main retailer that sells what I need close to my area without having to drive massively in the opposite direction. The one time I actually stripped my moose so bad that I actually drove to the other store on the other side of town. Uh, speed bump. And uh, yeah, so let's get some stuff. This weekend we have an NRL match, a National Rifle League Center Fire match. Today is Wednesday the 12th of February by the way. So this is the day you guys are living through. If you're still watching this, if not, then yeah, I don't have to say anything because you're not here. Um, but yeah, so we have to run some errands for the National Rifle League and then go print some stuff. We also maybe need to swing by the police station. We've actually got uh, quite a lot of stuff on our to-do list and uh, trying not to break the speed limit here. But Boulder's Warehouse will be next. How's it going? But I think it's more of a joke than anything else. I'm trying to get to some pieces of rebar that are back there. There they are. As heavy as they look. Now what I can also guarantee is gonna happen. They won't be able to scan this barcode. And this is gonna turn into a half an hour little exercise but at least I don't have to cut these from the long ones back home so that's gonna save me a little bit of time um, and energy so surface still not disappointing this is the toll and this is me um, getting zero assistance I managed to find a trolley to push my stuff on um, and somebody actually asked me if I work here that's how bad the services right so far a pretty successful morning i got that terrible tar stuff from handling those metal things on my hands so that took a little bit of scrub with carb cleaner lots to do still today i need to get my ammunition ready for this weekend i've got no brass that's ready luckily i got in the shipment of alpha munitions small rifle 65 creed brass so i'm gonna just load up a hundred of those they should hammer i also haven't dialed in my rifle in the manor stock yet i don't have the arc Aurelian. as you guys know i'm going to shoot for manners this year so for this match i'm going to actually try out the new xrs by mdt which should give me a very good idea of how this chassis slash stock system performs i have put the vertical grip on this so there will be hopefully if all goes according to plan today we will actually make it to the range um, but yeah, less talking, more reloading. This is gonna be crazy.
So something I'm also gonna do today is I'm gonna test these new bullets from Hornady, the A-tip 135. I'm gonna load the exact same load, load them to the same length. These things are beautiful. So I finished reloading and I decided I'm gonna snap a quick picture while I had the camera out of the eight tips, edit the picture, put it on social media, and then move on to whatever's next on our to-do list. So the thing with making YouTube videos that's super cool is you kind of get to do what you want when you want, but it doesn't pay the bills, right? So I also run a little online store. I'm shipping an empty chamber indicator with the MDT 10 round metal mag to a customer in Sears. So I bubble wrap, I ship, everyone gets a handwritten note from me. It's a lot of work, so I always joke and I say like sometimes in the morning or in the afternoon, but at some point during the day, I tend to find myself working in the shipping department of my business, which is what we're doing next. Right, that goes in a little shipping parcel. What we're gonna be doing next is making some stock for Axis Precision Works. I got the muzzle brakes in this morning, so we have to jump on the laser, put some logos on them, get those boxed up, get them out to our wholesalers. Woo, it's been a, it's been a nuts day. Um, sometimes I forget to eat during days like this, so I probably should do that at some point. But I think first, let's get this done. Then we're gonna head out to do some printing and then head to the range later this afternoon. So we're gonna be doing some of, some of this, which is basically why you guys watch this channel. Let's be honest, you don't care what I do in the day. You just wanna see all the guns and the stuff. I know, it's fine, me too, but we gotta work. Oh, I also have to thank me, sir. Uh, you can't see this, but there's a big box that just showed up at my house, which is a UPS. Uh, uninterrupted power supply, I think that's what it's for. So somebody just sent this over and I googled what this thing cost. It's a lot. It just showed up here. So it was sent anonymously, so whoever sent us that, we really appreciate it. I'll have it hooked up in the next week or so. So thank you very much. Um, wow, it's gonna help a lot with the load shedding. Um, anyway, let me box this up. Right, next we have to sort out this nightmare. So always when you guys see this, it's super organized and everything, my super cool laser sunglasses. Laser. Um, so when you guys see this, it's very organized, but I try and, um, it, no matter how hard I try, it just sort of, and then it looks like this. So what we have to do today, let me pop this one over there. Uh, as I mentioned, Ooh, almost broke. That would have been fun. Um, okay, so I have my match rifle in the manners at the moment. However, I was planning on mounting an Arca rail on here so I could either run the SkyPod or my Atlas that's Arca compatible. But that we couldn't get done in time. So that's gonna annoy me. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna pop this guy out of this rifle of that chassis system stock and pop it into the MDT XRS that I have put Arca on so that we can in fact run a bipod that is Arca compatible. So that's gonna make my life a little bit easier shooting the match. Um, then we're gonna head to the range, go test out this load. Hopefully it shoots because I just loaded the other load from like a year ago. So and then also just try the ATIP, see what they do. Um, then I've got two clients rifles that are back there that I still need to mount optics to, put muzzle brakes on, I sighted in or I broke in their barrels and I did some low development for them and they are shooting the match too. So I need to get those dialed in. So we're gonna do quite a bit of shooting. 
Uh, I also still need to go to the shop to get some stuff printed and finish quite a bit of work at the range. So it's going to be a long day. Um, and uh, it's now oh, 10 to 3. Oh. I think I maybe need to pop into town first because I can always shoot until like 6 o'clock but the store will be closed. Okay, let's take a quick pop over to town. Let me get a small piece. Mm. Murgus lager. So, most days it kind of goes like this. Um, I actually had to cancel a meeting with my business partner today just because I wouldn't get to everything. It's now about 3 rushing to get in and out of town before the traffic sort of kicks up traffic then we need to rush back pack all our stuff head to the range swing by bullet central pick up two triggers and um how's it neighbors um and then uh head to the range do a little bit of shooting get back hopefully in time to tuck olivia in tonight then have some well-deserved beer um which we spoke about earlier in a little way which you'll see later so uh yeah. Anyway, pass me the commons. Kudu from the Eastern Cape. Morning. Right, so we dropped off all the stuff at Postnet. Now, doing a quick little walk over to uh, the Vodacom store to get some SIM cards to run in the tablets at the NRL because we're all going to do the scoring um, electronically this time. It's the Wednesday, as I said earlier, and. Uh, I still haven't figured out the tablet, so a little bit nervous for leaving that last minute. But I mean, how hard could it possibly be? Um, I was born with internet, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Now just to find this Vodacom store, and I hate Vodacom stores, because they are very much like Boulder's warehouses. Right, checking another item off the list. I feel like a Nigerian scammer picking up a whole little bank thing of SIM cards. No offense if you're a Nigerian and don't scam people. Um, right, hopefully the laminated stuff's done and then we can head down to Bullet Central, go pick up some triggers, ship them to two customers. Um, by the way, if you're watching this in America and you're still watching, use the code PITSKI01 for $30 off your Mix and Andy trigger. Ah, that's Andy. Hello, Andy. Uh, he owns a gun store. Um, in South Africa, that guy, that's pretty funny. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so $30 off if you buy a Bix and Andy using the code. I'm gonna link that code or just put the code in here. And uh, then I make a little bit of money too, uh, full disclosure. Anyway, let's pick up some laminates. Ah. Thank Right, so we've come home, picked up a whole bunch of stuff, and um, are on our way out to Bullet Central to pick up the triggers. Uh, I have my little 22 in the car. I'm not gonna get to shooting those other three rifles in today. It is quite windy, and I'm gonna have to rush it because I had to put muzzle brakes on both of those other rifles. Uh, rings and an optic on the one, get that zeroed. In the wind and do my rifle and have get dope out to 550 meters with all three and it's 4 4 p.m um it would have been doable but it would have been a shit show it would have been way too rushed and that's not how i like to do things so sometimes when i set out on these days of mine i have them planned out pretty early in the morning i have a list of things that i want to accomplish and sometimes you just can't get to everything and you kind of have to make peace of that now that's where I have a hard time because my personality, I just want to get stuff done. But uh, yeah, my mom's helped me quite a lot with that. Like, just like do what you can, and if you can't get to everything, it's 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 okay. It's not the end of the world. So that's something I have been working on quite a bit. So let's zip to Bullet Central, get those triggers, head down to the range. We're gonna finish up the NRL course of fire today. Um, so we're gonna be doing some manual labor. I got cucked out by my wife because I'm wearing my nice pants and they're really dirty and now I'm gonna be working on wood varnish and all sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, I did, bail, uh, <clears throat> I did bail on the flip flops and uh, I put on some tackies so that we can work in the farm. Uh, and I also made a spelling mistake <laughs> on these freaking little pamphlets. So by the way, I made these for the range. 
if you ever read my posts and you see what the hell is this oak on about and it doesn't quite make sense please keep in mind that I'm dyslexic to some extent and that I'm not really good at spelling but uh, I'm pretty good at a few other things but I just can't seem to to get that one uh, anyway let me scan out here so we can head on over to Alfred at Bullet Central Right, that was pretty quick. We got our two triggers, a normal tax board and a tax board pro. Thanks to the guys from Bullet Central for having that ready for me. Hey, somebody almost turned out in front of me. Good thing I was paying attention while driving. Um, okay, it's gonna be my turn to go here. Thank you very much. Right, let's hit the range. And uh, I also have the 22 rimfire. The mag is out, by the way, before you scream at me. But it is loaded and next to it so if on the way to the range on the farm we see some critters or um, some varmints that can fly uh, we will take care of business um, but i don't think i'll video that but if i wink then you know we were successful um, so need to put up the legionnaire uh, frames to mark the indicated positions for the shooters put up some safety stuff varnish a few things and then that's gonna be the day. I hope you still enjoying this. This video is gonna be super long. This is kind of what I do every day. So yeah, I don't know. Some people wanted to know. Now you know. It's not all glitz and glam. So I generally don't like getting dirty hands. Um, so I always keep these nitrile gloves handy. Excuse the pun. Um, we don't need a hell of a lot of varnish for what we're gonna be doing now. See, I just messed a little bit of varnish on the bucky. Uh, that should come off though. Um, shit. So let me get that back on. And then these are nice because you could just, you know, pop them off. There we go. It's like it never happened. Um, you could just pop them off when you're done. Bomb them back in the trash, and then your hands and your watch and everything is still hunky dory clean. Right. I bought these gun racks. Uh, let me grab this and show you guys. So I bought these gun racks for the NRL 22. I actually saw these when I shot that NRL 22 match in Vegas. This is what they look like. Um, so I just need to varnish up that one over there and then we're good to go. go one gun rack finished we have the rules of the range there and we have gun racks like that across the whole range Our shooting range is way down there, somewhere, yeah, down there. Um, so we're shooting up this hill, it's pretty windy, um, but you guys should be able to hear me fine. I think I got about 10 more of these to put up. Once again, thanks Legionnaire for supporting the National Life for You guys rock, man. Right, the sun has now set over that mountain. I have put up all the target boards. I'm just gonna take my rangefinder, triple check. Well, this is probably the quadruple, quadruple lift time. I'm checking all the distances, making sure everything is hunky-dory, but from where I am here, it's looking pretty cool. So uh, all systems go and uh, I desperately need that beer. So quick look, two targets, one target, two, three four five six seven at the back so there's no there's eight stages 
one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight stages um thanks for taking it along um if it was only as easy as actually filming this video the problem with making youtube videos is that now you have to sit and edit videos like this and editing a video like this takes four or five hours at best anyway that's what this is for and as mentioned earlier in the video today if you watch till the end you will get a promo code for some for some discount off some vortex goodies the promo code for today's video is going to be stella um, that's going to be valid till the end of March and you can get yourself 10% off some Vortex goodies. If it's your first time watching, please consider subscribing, thumbs up, thumbs down and always comment. It helps out the channel a lot. Thank you very much. I will see you when we do something else that's a little bit more exciting, like go shoot those eight tips that we never got to today. But we did do quite well and we ticked a whole bunch of stuff off the to-do list, which I'm pumped about. Cheers.